Wouldn't be the first time we've seen an altercation break out at a Trump rally like the one that we saw right here where a man seemingly took a swing at an anti-Trump protester. But we're getting very close to November now, and this is North Carolina, and it looks like it's going to be a battle. The Asheville police say they've issued warrants for the man who took a swing at a Trump protester on Monday night. And say they also made several arrests outside of the rally. But today, the U.S. Cellular Center sits quiet. The surrounding streets, once again peaceful. But the state of North Carolina could go either way, and both sides remain confident. It's a tough county because we are outnumbered by both Democrats and unaffiliated uh, us Republicans. Buncombe County is, a, uh, is an island of blue in a sea of red, and um, we felt like that, that Mr. Trump coming here could really build some enthusiasm uh, for the Republican parties in these areas. Yet the chairwoman for the Democratic Party in Buncombe County is confident, saying, quote, 2008 proved North Carolina can be a blue state. When Democrats are organized, we win. We're organized this year, so I anticipate Democratic victories across the state, including president. End quote. Both candidates have focused in on North Carolina in the last two weeks, and a recent poll shows Clinton pulling the most support from the Charlotte area. But further west, Trump is at 53 percent to Clinton's 36 percent. With that said, Asheville itself remains decidedly anti-Trump, as seen in Monday's rally. After a near melee inside the arena and numerous arrests outside, all was quiet in the wake of the Trump appearance, but the battle for North Carolina is as loud as ever.